Okay, the first stage, pre-lesson. Before reading. What are the procedures? Number one, uh, is given that warm-up activity. Okay, and the purpose is to set the scene, raise interest and anticipate content. That will be the purpose. Okay. Next. Number five. What would be the number five? Yes. The procedure? Pre-teach. Yes, you need to pre-teach the vocab. Okay. Why? The purpose? To remove obstacles to reading. Okay, only items necessary for the task. So that's okay number five for pre-lesson. How about lesson delivery? Number two. Number two. Yes. Set a time limit. That should be number two first. You need to set a time limit. Okay. And ask what a text is about. Why? Why do you need to set the limit? Why? To find the main idea of the text. That's the purpose. Okay. For a second one. Still in the stage of lesson delivery. Number four, yes. You allow the pupils to read with a purpose for the first time. Why? Yes, to get an overall idea of the text. Next, under lesson delivery, still? Number eight. Number eight. Number Number six. Yes. Let pupils compare ideas. Yes, let pupils compare ideas. Okay. Once they're done with their reading, let them discuss in groups, perhaps, and compare their ideas. This is also known as peer checking. Okay, peer feedback. Yes, yes. check, just to check. Okay, for listen delivery. Okay, we go to uh, lesson delivery to set time limits. Next, allow pupils ah. to read. Yes, fine. And then let pupils compare ideas. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's it. Yes. Four, six. One, five, two, four, six. Four, six. How about lesson delivery? Five. Five, two, four, six. Three. 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 Compare whole group answers. Okay. It's a whole class feedback. First, you go for your peer checking or peer feedback. Next, you go with the whole class feedback. Why? To allow pupils yes, to confirm. That doesn't match with the limit. Yeah? 
sometimes we need to make mistakes. So these are the things that you can avoid while you are planning your lesson. What are the this week? The first one. Yes, no clarity on the LS being addressed or the reading skills and strategies being developed. Second one, not setting a task before pupils read. So you just ask, okay, now read. If the instruction is not that clear. You just read or you need to be detailed actually. Read, uh, let's say here, read and tell me what it is about. Does not constitute the task. Tell me about what? Okay, you need to be specific in your instruction. The third one, um, <coughs> giving out the text in advance of the, text, of the task, then struggling to get attention back. So first, you need to give them the task. The second one will be the text. Okay, not the text first, and then give them task. Give them the task, and next, the text. Okay? Fourth one, over teaching vocabulary before reading. Okay? Forgetting to leave time for peer feedback. In groups or with block partner. And you immediately going to whole group chats. Okay, let them discuss with their within their group first. And then then you go by whole whole group. Alright? Distracting pupils by wandering and uh, speaking during the monitoring stages. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you did that. Okay? When they are um, reading, sometimes you interrupt them. <clears throat> and you share your stories of other things when they are reading, so they are not focusing on what they are doing. Right? And last one, getting pupils to read aloud. Um, this is a different skill. Yeah, getting people to read aloud. Actually, when you ask your pupils to read aloud, um, is that a measurable um, aspect there? If you ask them to read aloud, can you detect their pronunciation? Reading aloud? Reading aloud? Uh, for in the whole first, uh, first lesson, reading aloud after the teacher or reading aloud themselves? Themselves. Means you set tasks for them. Everybody, could you please read aloud? So, in the whole class. That's it. Can you, can you measure? Um, actually, are they? Yes, there will be like you can't hear everything you're reading, of course, and that there must be you know um, errors, mistakes, um, they mispronounce it, and so on. Is it, uh, is it allowed in reading lesson? You will read it after the teacher. Yes, read after the teacher. Yes, you may do that. Justify. Why you want to do that? Why you want to read after the teacher? For any steps or for certain steps? Up to you. If you have a you have a long text, what usually you do with your long text? You ask the pupils to read first, or the teacher will read and follow after her. Yes. Justify why. To get them to make them correct. Yes. Correct Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, teachers. Okay, let's go to your handouts. A three S two A three. That's the first, the first excellent that you do 
as a free lesson activity, followed by two, three, and four. Can you just discuss and um, you have your answers on the mini white box so that we can see it. You just write in your mini white box. Okay. What are your answers? Okay.